Hi, and welcome to another tutorial in the Python tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at numbers and basic math in Python. So in the previous tutorial, we looked at how to use the print statement to display a string of text um, or a string of characters, so letters, numbers, uh, punctuation marks, things like that. In this tutorial, we're going to use the print statement again to display things on screen. But this time, instead of working with strings, we're going to work with numbers. And if you remember from the previous tutor tutorial, when we wanted to display a string of text on the screen, we would write print, and then in brackets, we would write the string inside quotes. But if we want to use the print statement to display uh, values that are numbers, we only need to put them inside brackets we don't need to use quotes. So for example, if we want to display the number five, we can say print and then five in brackets. Now, if we save this program and run it, we will see the value five output on the screen. Okay, so that's just how to display a number in Python using the print statement. This number is an integer, a whole number, but we can also use the print statement to display uh, numbers with a decimal point, which in Python programming are called floats. So whole numbers in Python are called integers or int, and numbers with a decimal point are called float. So again, we can pop the number in the print statement and run that module and display that value. Now, print statements aren't just for displaying uh, values like strings or integers or floats. They can also display the results of calculations. So we can do some basic math in Python and then display the result in a print statement. So for example, for addition, we can say something like 3 plus 5 using the plus operator for addition. What I'm going to do now is add some comments to the code so that we can remember what these lines of code are actually for when we look at this code later. So to add comments to your code, and comments are usually uh, used to explain an algorithm in your code or explain what's happening in a function. Um, and to, to add comments, you use the uh, hashtag or pound symbol. So I'm just gonna note that this is for addition. Um, we can also do subtraction. So for example, seven minus three. Um, and this looks pretty normal, but if we want to do division and multiplication, it's a little bit different in programming than uh, using the uh, divide and multiply buttons on a calculator. So for division, we use the forward slash. So for example, if we want to do 12 divided by four, we would say 12 and then forward slash and then four. So that's division. Okay, so let's test that so far. So after saving it, we'll click run, run module, and we see the output here. So we have print 5.25, we've printed three plus five, which is eight. We've printed seven minus three, which is four and 12 divided by four, which is three. Now, you'll notice that we actually get a float result from this division. So this is called true division. So instead of getting three, we see the float 3.0. We can do uh, true division as well. So, uh, sorry, we can do uh, what's called uh, floor division. So we can say print, 12 and then two forward slashes in a row and four. And after saving and running this, you'll notice that we just see an integer returned, which is three. So what floor division will do is round down as well. So if we did something like print uh, 18 divided by seven, Okay, so again, this is true division. I'll just update this comment up here. And then we did print 18 and then used two forward slashes for floor division. 
and then we save and run this code, what we would see is for 18 divided by 7, that's true division, we would see 2.5714 and so on. But when we use the two forward slashes for floor division, it's just rounded down to two. Okay, so that's true division and that's floor division in Python. Um, we can also multiply, so if we want to multiply numbers, for example, three multiplied by three, and we use the star or asterisk. Okay, let's, let's save and run that. And we should see nine there. Yep. Okay, and the last couple of things we'll look at are exponentiation. So if we want to square or cube a number, um, we could do something like this. So print, and then two stars in a row. Sorry, the number. So first number, two stars in a row, and second number. Um, so this would be five squared. Okay, so we could do five cubed or two power four, five, whatever we want to do. Um, but this is the what's called the exponentiation operator. So two stars in a row. And if we save and run this code, we'll see 25 as a result. The last one we'll look at is modulus. And modulus we use uh, we use a modulus operator when we want to display or return the remainder of division. So, for example, if we want to see the remainder of 5 divided by 2, we can use the modulus operator or mod operator, which is percent. Okay, we can save and run this program. And we see the remainder, which is 1. So 5 divided by 2 is 2 with a remainder of 1. So that is uh, basic numbers and math in the Python programming language. Thanks for watching.